So I've done a pretty good job lately at making people feel uncomfortable and I'm going to continue to do so. One of the big things that I've been talking about is making sure that you discuss with female athletes their menstrual cycle. And today, luckily, I've enlisted Justin to help me do this in kind of giving you guys a lens into how you should do so. What I think is that you guys really should listen up and you can see how easy it is to incorporate this into kind of just a general conversation with an athlete. And the big thing is, is that it's so important to do. So go ahead guys, if you are enjoying the content on our page, make sure you subscribe um, and keep listening because we have so much awesome content coming out. Uh, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. All right, so just a little disclaimer about these questions that we're gonna use in the Q&A session. These are my answers that actually would have happened during my sophomore year of college. Um, I had been notoriously injured, I was always on the sidelines, and I wasn't performing to the best of my ability. So that gives you a little bit of a lens as to where we're going with this. So luckily I have Justin here to help me, um, and if you have any questions at the end, don't hesitate to ask. Hey Ash, how are things going? Things are alright. You know, uh, I aced my anatomy exam today. Nice, that's awesome. I'm proud of you. Yeah. How do you feel things are going in practice? It's hard. It's really tough because I'm just not performing the way I want to. Um, my knee's not okay and I just feel like injury after injury just keeps happening. Yeah, well I want you to know, I know how hard you work. I know you're busting your ass at practice every day. Yeah. It's, it's tough. It's, it's hard. None of this is uh, really easy. No. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? I don't want you to feel uncomfortable, but I think they're important things for us to talk about and they can help us figure out maybe why it's taking you so long to recover from some of your injuries and some of the things going on. Sure. Why not? Do you remember how old you were when you had your first period? All right. It's a little weird, but I was 12, I think. I think I was in sixth grade. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, thanks for giving me a chance. I think this is an important thing for us to talk about. Um, it's good that it came that early. Any time after 15 can actually be a problem. So that's a good thing. Um, do you regularly have periods? Yeah, you know, that's, it's a little interesting. I didn't know that you should have it before 15, but um, my period is not regular. I don't think I've had it really in the past three months. You know, and it's something that, you know, I've talked to my mom about. She just says, hey, it's because you're an athlete. Hmm. Okay. Do you remember exactly when the last time was? I want to say, I want to say, say three to four months ago, but I don't exactly know. Okay. Um, have you talked to a doctor about this? No, that's something that, you know, I've never done and I didn't think I needed to because I've talked to other people about it and they said it's happened to them too. And like I said, you know, I've just been told this because I'm an athlete running all day long. Okay. You know? All right. I hear you. Um, I mean, I can't imagine what it's like. To have to deal with that yeah. but so it could feel like a little bit of relief not to have to deal with yeah, it of course it's great <laughs> uh, but so no one's really ever talked to you and explained that it's not okay no to no. not to I didn't, not have them i didn't know that it's not okay like i thought it was actually kind of a blessing in disguise <laughs> okay okay you know um well, let's see um not many people are really aware yeah. of that so that's sort of a you know a, a common thing people feel it's okay they think it's part of just you know um being an athlete. Yeah. Um, have you ever had a stress fracture before? Have you ever had? Yeah, and that's, I had three in high school. I had two in my foot and I had one in my ankle. Okay. So. All right, so none recently. Yeah, luckily no. Okay, but so that's a good thing. Um, do you ever take naps or do you ever feel tired, fatigued? Coach, I'm a college kid studying science. Yeah? I'm always tired. Okay. And I think I live off caffeine. You know, and, and that's one thing, like, I'm not a napper. I don't like to nap during the day. If the sun's up, I don't go to sleep. But I think I probably would if I didn't mind doing it. Okay. You know? How much caffeine are you? Oh, that's a, that's a good question. It depends on a daily basis. Okay. You know, Starbucks is where I go to study, so you can only imagine. And they have free 25-cent refills. <laughs> <laughs> unaware of that. Okay. Um, how about eating? Give me an idea of what your eating habits are like. It's, uh, it's tough. I don't have a big dining plan because I decided I was going to really cook for myself. But really, if you kind of take through a day, maybe sometimes I'll have a salad in the dining hall. But most of the time, it's coffee, water, grapefruit, instant stuffing, and ramen. Because Ooh. that's what's available. Okay. And that's what I eat kind of just on the fly when I'm between classes and after practice and stuff like that. Okay. Grapefruit is one I haven't heard a lot of. That's yeah. a, okay. Um, have you ever talked to anybody about your eating? Have you ever met with a dietitian, nutritionist? Never thought I needed to. It was something, and, and I know right now probably 
you know, I'm not eating as much as I should or whatnot, but I didn't think it was a big issue. You know, I feel great. The attention's great. Like I'm, I feel okay in my body, but I just keep getting injured. And okay. That's really, I don't know why. Hmm. You know? Well, I remember those dining hall days. Yeah. Not fun. Yeah. No, not. no. The food's not very good. It depends. Okay. Um, well, let's do this. Let's set up some time. I want to chat. I want to be able to set up some time, see if we can maybe bring a dietitian in yeah. um, and go through everything and let's let's sit down and make sure we have a good time to talk about it all. It's awesome. And I think it maybe maybe learning all this stuff is going to help me get better. Yeah, right. definitely. We'll get your performance back to where you want it to be and get you feeling better. Awesome. No more naps. You can keep up at Starbucks. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I wanted to hear that. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Uh, so guys, that's just a little bit of an insight as to how a coach can talk to a player and whether you're a parent, um, you know, or even a healthcare professional, talking to somebody about this shouldn't be uncomfortable. As weird as it is and as much as we wanted to laugh through most of that, um, try it and see how it goes. And as I always say, get comfortable being uncomfortable, especially in scenarios like this.